The Monument to the Unknown Hero Serbian, Spomenik Neznanim Junaku, Spomenik Neznanim Junaku, is a World War I memorial located atop Mount Avala, southeast of Belgrade, Serbia, and designed by the sculptor Ivan Mestrovic. Memorial was built in 1934–1938 on the place where an unknown Serbian World War I soldier was buried. It is similar to many other tombs of the unknown soldier built by the Allies after the war. The Zernov Fortress was previously located on the same place. Origin <inaudible> 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 On the night of 13–14 October 1915, Combined Squad of the Belgrade's defence, held the line of Vala Zeus, defending it from the joint Austro-Hungarian and German offensive. Austro-Hungarian 9th Hill Brigade of the 59th Division took the front rim of Avala on 16 October, with an assignment to push Serbian forces from the mountain. Austro-Hungarians were reinforced with one German half battalion. However, one Serbian battalion successfully defended the top of Avala against the Austro-Hungarian battalions of the 49th and 84th Regiments, aided by the 204th German Reserve Infantry Regiment. On the same day, the command of the Belgrade's defence ordered the retreat to the new positions so on 17 October occupational forces reached the southern section of Avala, conquering the entire mountain. Their soldiers then buried Serbian combatants who were killed in action. In the valley, below Zernov, on the grave of one of them, they placed a wooden cross with the inscription in German, "...one unknown Serbian soldier". Predecessor In the late 1920, a popular news topic in Serbia was the burial of the French, "...unknown soldier", in Pantheon. As the French influence was very strong on Serbian army since the mid-19th century, the idea of doing the same spread among the veterans and social associations, reaching the National Assembly. Existing commemorative cross from 1915 was known only locally and to the Avala visitors. In the first half of 1921 the initiative to build a more dignified commemorative mark gained momentum. On 24 June 1921, President of the Constitutional Assembly, Ivan Rabar, summoned state dignitaries to the meeting with the agenda of constructing the monument. Present at the meeting, among others, were the General and the former Defense Minister Mihailo Rasik, Rector of the University of Belgrade Bogdan Gavrilovic, Mayor of Belgrade Dobra Mitrovic and Manager of the National Theatre in Belgrade Milan Grol. It was decided that the future monument will be dignified. But humble. First step was to determine whether it was indeed a Serbian soldier in the grave under the wooden cross. An exhumation was conducted by the Commission on 23 November 1921. Parts of the grenade are found under the skull, almost as a pillow, while the skeleton had the blown left side of the chest, so it is estimated that he was killed by the Austro Hungarian howitzer while he was watching from the lookout. He was apparently buried in the crater formed by the explosion of the very grenade that killed him. Other objects found in the grave include, parts of the military blouse, Serbian bandolier belt with the powder pockets, full of ammunition, knapsack, military boots with telephone wires instead of the shoe laces, a wallet with three coins, two 1904 Serbian coins of two dinars, with the profile of King Peter I of Serbia, and one coin of one groschen that is, 20 Paris from 1912 and a piece of paper, barely recognizable, which is suspected to be a 10 dinars banknote from 1908. The soldier had no identity badge which suggests that he was either member of the 3rd Call Regiments with soldiers over 38 years old or was drafted immediately prior to the battle which is probably correct as the skeletal remains pointed out to a very young male, no older than 19 to 20 years. Some sources actually claim he was only 15. It was said that his skull was, "...small, like of a boy", and that skeleton was petite, of a boyish, thin stature. The ammunition was Russian Chula Arms Plant, 1906, 7.62 mm x 57 mm 0.300 in times 2.244 in, which means that he used the rifle Mosin Nagant M1891. The boots were American, M1910, mostly distributed to the members of the personnel department and, to the lesser extent, to the regiments of the First Call which drafted the youngest soldiers, up to 31 years old. 
The commission concluded that the remains to belong to the Serbian soldier and reburied him, with the grenade parts, while his personal belongings were taken to the cabinet of the President of the Assembly for safekeeping. Assembly Board organized many events in 1922 in order to gather the funding for the monument, but also used the other means for the promotional purposes, like the cinema shows. Also, some more prominent events are used, like the Christmas money collecting by the Patriarch Demetria or the wedding of King Alexander I and Queen Maria on 8 June 1922. Not having much faith in the politicians and expecting that they would drag the process, local administration organized the construction in 1922. As the railway was being built in the area the Yugoslav Railways donated all the needed materials. When the board found out that the locals are building their own monument, conceptually completely different from their idea, Ivan Rabar held talks with the local administration and an agreement was reached that this monument will be a temporary solution. The monument was built near the place where an earlier monument to the unknown soldier was built. It was projected by Milan Minic and the construction began on 1 April 1922. The monument was built by the local villagers, aided by the engineers and workers from the Rakovica railway section. The monument was finished on 14 May 1922 and publicly dedicated on 1 June 1922. The base was a two-leveled square pedestal with a regular, four-sided pyramid made of the roughly dressed stone. The base of the pyramid was 3 meters times 3 meters, 9.8 feet times 9.8 feet, and it was 5 meters, 16 feet tall. Four jardiniers were leaned on each side of the pyramid with the seedlings of the common box. They were hexagonally shaped and also made of the roughly dressed stone. On top of the pyramid a six-armed cross was placed. On the eastern side of the pedestal a plate was placed with the inscription to the fallen heroes in the wars for liberation and unification 1912–1918, this monument is erected by the thankful people of the Vraka district. Consecrated on 1 June 1922." On the other three side the inscription simply said, "'Cross' made' of Carrara marble." On the western side of the horizontal arm of the cross another inscription read, Unknown Serbian soldier confirmed by the Commission on 29 November 1921." The monument was encircled by sixteen short stone pillars, four on each side, connected with chains. Remains of the unknown soldier were placed in the metal coffin and walled in the monument, together with the small wooden case in the colors of the Serbian flag containing the grenade parts, and remains of another three unidentified soldiers which were discovered in the foothills of Avala. Among the dignitaries at the dedication of the monument were Ivan Rabar, other senior politicians from the assembly, presidents of the surrounding municipalities and districts and several government ministers. King Alexander visited the location later that same day, on 28 June 1938, when the new monument was finished. The remains of the unknown soldier were taken from the old coffin, washed in white wine, wrapped in white linen, and placed in the new metal coffin, which was moved to the crypt inside the new monument. Remains of the other three soldiers were placed in the memorial ossuary in Belgrade Fortress. Personal belongings of the soldier were handed over to the military museum, also on the fortress, but they disappeared later. The old monument was completely demolished, except for the six-armed cross which was moved to the churchyard of the Church of St. Mary Magdalene in Belly Potic, where it is still located. <laughs> <laughs> monument History The construction of the new monument was ordered by King Alexander to commemorate the victims of the Balkan Wars and the World War I The monument was designed by Croatian sculptor Ivan Mestrovic, and the main engineer was Stephen Zivanovic. Members of the Yugoslav Royal Army and Navy took part in processing and mounting the blocks. King Alexander I of Yugoslavia laid the foundation stone for the new monument on 28 June 1934, just few months before he was assassinated in Marseille. Before the construction of the new monument started in 1934, the ancient fortified town of Zernov was located atop the Avala mountain. It was then demolished by dynamite to free the space for the new monument. The building of the new monument wasn't without the controversy. 
Public was against the demolition of the old Zernov town, while the especially vocal was the author Branislav Nuzic. He also protested that the monument is so distant from Belgrade, which would prevent the citizens to pay their respect. Nuzic wrote, "...to Avala go only the wealthy men who have cars, bringing their mistresses with them." However, King Alexander was adamant that the monument has to be built on Avala, stating, "...either there or nowhere." While Nuzic proposed one of the central city squares, Republic Square, close to the modern Staklanak shopping center. Ironically, on that section of the square, today known as the Plateau of Zor and Dindik, actually the monument to Branislav Nuzic was erected. The monument to the unknown hero was declared Monument of Culture of Exceptional Importance in 1987, and it is protected by Republic of Serbia. The surrounding area around the monument was landscaped in 2006. topic design The monument is in the form of a sarcophagus made of black granite from Jablanica. The sarcophagus is surrounded by caryatids representing all the peoples of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. They represent Bosnian, Montenegrin, Dalmatian, Croatian, Slovenian, Vojvodinas, Serbian and old Serbian women. The top of the sarcophagus is marked with an inscription reading Alexander the first king of Yugoslavia to the unknown hero. The monument is 14.5 meters, 48 feet high and 36 meters, 118 feet in length, while the stairs from the approaching side are 93 meters, 305 feet long. The tomb with the remains of the unknown hero is located in the crypt underground room in the base of the monument. The tomb is marked only by the date 1912 to 1918. The duration of the Balkan Wars and World War I. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Identity speculation. Based on the examination in 1921 and the properties discovered, it wasn't possible to identify the soldier or even to conclude in which unit he served. Several historians from Belgrade and Sarajevo have claimed that the unknown hero is a Bosniak named Suleiman Balik, a soldier from Duga Poljana, a town between Norvi Pazar and Sjenica, that fought in the Serbian army against Austria-Hungary. But as the evidence suggests, the soldier was drafted immediately prior to the battle in October 1915, as he didn't receive the ID badge, so this claim is unlikely. Ceremonies The monument is used for the official commemorations of the important historic dates. The President, Prime Minister and other officials visit the monument for the wreath-laying ceremony on dates like the Serbian National Day February, Victory Day May, and 15 September, the date when the Salonika Front was broken through in 1918. See also Monument of Culture of Exceptional Importance Tourism in Serbia